Hey friends, welcome to new business ideas. Today we look in the business. How to start a frozen food business. If you are looking for business ideas in the food industry, the frozen food business is a good one to consider, especially if you live in a city. People in villages and rural areas have easy access to green and raw foods because the majority of them are farmers. They grow their own vegetables. Some of them raise turkeys, chickens, and other animals. As a result, starting a frozen food business in a village is not a good idea. However, starting a frozen food business in any of these cities, particularly in congested urban areas, would be a good idea. Because some people in the city have little time but enjoy for cooking on their weekends. And also, frozen foods are readily available. People can dash into a frozen food store and choose the size of meat or fish they require at any given time. Wastage is avoided or reduced to a bare minimum as a result of this. Furthermore, many food stands may attempt to purchase frozen foods as part of the ingredients for their food items. The frozen food business is a good business idea that provides a consistent stream of income throughout the year. Here in this video, you will get the complete information to how to start a frozen food business. Market opportunity for frozen food business. Today's frozen food market includes branded retail chains as well as standalone grocery stores that sell packaged and ready to cook food. The benefit of frozen food is that it retains the nutrient value of the product. The frozen food industry is further subdivided into processed frozen vegetables, vegetable snacks, poultry, fish and seafood and red meat. According to a 2015 Asochum report, the annual sale of ready-to-eat food increased by 32.5% on average between 2010 and 2015. Packaged food, such as packaged beverages, dairy products, snack items, frozen food, and ready-to-cook-and-eat food, is purchased by approximately 80% of urban households in India. The goal of starting a frozen food business is to meet your target market's frozen food needs by offering them at a reasonable price and better service may pk the customer's interest another strategy for attracting customers is to ensure that your products are of high quality and well preserved create a business plan before starting any business whether large or small it is critical to take care of the things that are associated with it what are the requirements for a small or large scale business how much money will you invest in all of this and how much profit will you make from it it is critical that you are aware of all of these details because, they will be extremely useful to you as you begin your business. So, after conducting extensive market research, you can now decide who you want to sell to. The following are the ideal customers for the frozen food business. 1. Individuals. These are single men who prefer to cook their own meals rather than go out to eat. In this niche, we also have middle class families. 2. Grocery stores. A few grocery stores intend to sell frozen foods. Some of these supermarkets rely on people like you to supply them with frozen foods. 3. Food stands. If you have a lot of food stands around you, that will help your frozen food business. You can sell them directly to customers. Required place for frozen food business. You need to find the right place to start a frozen food business. The frozen food business is not the type of business you can find in the secret area. If you need more space, you should allocate 500 to 800 square feet of space. Also, people should be in a place where they can easily choose what they want on the way home. Sure, such a place can be relatively expensive, but it will pay off in the end. The market where people get groceries and soup components is a good part to find the frozen food business. Other places like gardens and main bus stops are also suitable. Investments for frozen food business the investment to start a frozen food business is estimated at 10 to 20 lakh rupees. For this business, you can rent a shop or build it if you own land. For this, you need to buy a freezer plate knife. Together with all these, you need to determine the process of your business. And depending on the nature of the business, whether you want to make it and sell it to an entire retailer or buy it from a large company and want it to work as your store. And for this, you will need staff, and, you have to invest in that as well. License and Registration for Frozen Food Business Before you can start selling frozen foods, you must first obtain approval. To function properly, all legal business requires government approvals and permits. 
The following permits are required for this type of business. Business and corporation if the new business is owned and managed by a single person, partnership firm or one person company, it must be registered as a sole proprietorship. FSSAI registration a food license is required to operate any food related business such as food production, processing, distribution, selling, import, export or stock. Registration for the goods and services tax and get a small scale industry license. No objection certificate from local municipal office and professional tax license. Finally, the trademark is used to protect the brand name. Equipments required for frozen food business. When starting any business, equipments are used in it by looking at the work. As there are some businesses that can be done without mechanical use, but some it is impossible to do without machines. Following are the names and functions of mechanical equipment used in the frozen food business. 1. Freezer. This is the main appliance you should get to keep your items in the freezer. You can also buy it new, but if you don't have enough money, you can buy a used second-hand freezer. Depending on the size you want to start your business, the number of freezers you will be able to hold. 2. Generator. Access to continuous electricity is a must for anyone wishing to start a frozen food business. If the electrical power is reliable, a generator will suffice for you. But if you rely heavily on generators to power your freezer, having two generators is recommended. 3. Weight scale. People sell frozen foods in kilos. Therefore, you should have a weight scale that you can use to weigh the items that customers want to buy. 4. Delivery van. This is not mandatory but, if you want to serve for home delivery or you have small stores and restaurants as a regular customer, it is suggested to have a delivery van. 5. Other equipment. You'll need some tables, a plank, a cutlass, and a knife. This will assist you in serving those who may request that you slice the fish, chickens, and turkeys for them. This contributes to your customer's comfort and increases your goodwill. Marketing for frozen food business. Marketing is critical for this business because it will be difficult for you to run it without it. To promote your frozen food company, you will need to print business cards. If you put the business plan in a good place, you can easily do marketing without spending a lot of money or time on it. A poster or signboard in front of your business will suffice. However, if you want to do home delivery, you should keep a frozen food business website. You can design it in the style of an e-commerce website, with people able to book directly from the website. Aside from that, you can run advertisements in newspapers and on the internet to drive traffic to your website. Profit margin from frozen food business. You can earn good profit in frozen food business. Depending on the quality and customer satisfaction, the percentage will initially decrease as the profit percentage increases. If we talk about profit in this business, then you can get an idea from the fact that how much is the usefulness of the frozen food business that we use in everyday life and for how long it lasts. We hope in this frozen food business video will help you in initiating your own business. If you like in this video please like and comment. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching friends. For more business ideas, find in our channel video playlist. And subscribe to new business ideas.